It's a beautiful Saturday, today the 27th of January, and I trust that you're enjoying your weekend. Even if you're working today, make sure you try to enjoy the weekend. Our topic today says, what is God's temple part four? What is God's temple part four? Our memory verse is taken from 2 Kings chapter 22 verse 8. 2 Kings chapter 22 verse 8. And Elkiah the high priest said unto Shaphan, the scribe, I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. And Elkias gave the book to Shaphan and he read it. And Elkias the high priest said unto Shaphan the scribe, I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. And Elkias gave the book to Shaphan and he read it. A Bible reading is taken from 2 Kings chapter 22, 22 verse 8 to 11. 8 to 11. And Elkias the high priest said unto Shaphan the scribe, I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. And Elkiah gave the book to Shaphan and he read it. And Shaphan the scribe came to the king and brought the king word again and said, Thy servants have gathered the money that was found in the house and have delivered it into the hand of them that do the work and have the oversight of the house of the Lord. And Shaphan the scribe shewed the king, saying, Elkiah the priest has delivered me a book. And Shaphan read it before the king. Verse 11, the last verse. And it came to pass when the king had heard the words of the book of the law that he rent his clothes. So what is God's temple but for? God's temple is also a place of knowledge. The house of the Lord is also a place where we learn. It is a place of knowledge. It's a place of education. Psalms 27 verse 4, Psalms 27 verse 4 says, One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord, all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. To inquire is to make investigations. It simply means you can come into God's presence and begin to inquire of the Lord so that you, you can learn. You can learn of him. You know, some people believe you can't ask God questions. You know, is he I am that I am? Is he ancient of days? Is Alpha and Omega? But guess what? God wants you to reason with him. He wants you to speak to him. I remember when I was in uni, a friend of mine died. He was more like a big brother to me on campus. He had mentored me and helped me to earn my, um, 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 my skills, my public speaking skills. You know, he had discovered I had a gift and he had encouraged me greatly. And you know, he was somebody that we all liked. So he, he was also a music person. And he died and he had been through so many things. I remember walking down from fellowship and I was like, God, why? This person has been a blessing, served passionate, passionately when he was on campus. He has gone for service, serve, uh, despite the several academic challenge he had. Why did he die? Why did he die? And I kept asking why. And God said to me, he said, he is dead and people are saying good things about him i mean almost the entire campus was was sad about his death he said when you die what will people say about you when you die what will people say about you are you living a life of purpose now god did not explain to me why that person had to die but he responded he gave me something to hold on to and so god wants us to come you know, the reason some people are weak in their journey is because they don't go to God. We seek answers in. It's amazing how people look to other things for meaning. I mean, they look to the stars. Some people look to um, crystal stones. I mean, you are way above. These are things that God has given you dominion over. You should actually can come before God for understanding. You can talk to him about, and there's nothing you cannot talk to God about, really. You can talk to God about your emotions, your challenges, your temptations, your needs. It's a place where we can learn. I find in the Lord, you know, shares today in today's devotional that there was a time that he needed understanding, was confused about a matter. But while listening to the word of God, light began to shine on that matter. So our action point today is always attend church services with your writing materials and be expectant to receive new knowledge and revelation from God. Sometimes God will speak to you while the ministration is going on. It, it can even be something completely different from the topic that the minister is speaking on. I pray for you that every area of your life where you have suffered a level of ignorance, that the light of God will begin to shine in Jesus' name. Amen.